Installation of weight. Before performing work, read the operation and maintenance manual for operation details. Also, perform this operation on flat hard ground. Installation of car body weight, using self-removal device. This machine's car body weight is composed of four pieces. Never use the car body weight other than specified one. Required tools for car body weight are following. Before installing the car body weight, check that the machine is in the following conditions. Gantry, work position. Ground, firm and level. Crawlers, installed. Do not return the mast assist arms to storage position until the crane mast is connected to the boom with the guy lines. Mast may fall backwards if it is raised to vertical position when assist arms are at stowed position. Be careful of hook position which is not touched to the mast due to hook over hoist and or sways of hook block. Bring of the trailer with the first car body weight as close as possible to the machine. Keep the working radius within 7.3 meters while lifting the car body weight with the mast to prevent overturning of the machine. Attach the 10-ton shackle and sling to the car body weight. Lift the car body weight and let the trailer go out under the car body weight. Do not enter under the weight or stand between the weight and surrounding object. Slowly bring the car body weight toward the car body. Remove the securing pin. Lower and rest the car body weight to the car body side hanging bracket. Install the securing pins and detach the slings. Install the opposite side car body weight in the same way. If the car body weight detection harness is equipped on the machine, connect it to base machine harness. Assembling the counterweights. The counterweight assembly should be performed on the firm and level ground. This machine's counterweight is composed of 15 pieces. Never use the counterweight other than specified one. Required tools for counterweight are following. The assembling of the counterweight should be performed with the machine equipped with the car body weight and the crawler to prevent overturning of the machine. Do not enter under the weight or stand between the weight and surrounding object. Do not lift more than two weights at a time. Lifting brackets may break. Do not return the mast assist arms to storage position until the crane mast is connected to the boom with the guy lines. Mast may fall backwards if it is raised to vertical position when assist arms are at stowed position. Remove the securing pin and stand the counterweight hangers upright.
Insert the securing pin and secure the counterweight hangers. Stand the opposite side counterweight hangers upright in the same way. Lift the weight 3 with mast. Lifting position should be followed to operation manual. Do not enter under the weight or stand between the weight and surrounding object. Place the weight 3 on weight 1. Align the hollow on weight 3 with the projection on the weight 1. Detach the slings. Install the link and securing pin. Install the olive weight left and right alternately the same manner. When connecting weights use links to front and rear sides. Mounting the assembled counterweight to base machine with self-removal device. Place the planking as steel plates if the inclination is 1% or more to the base machine horizontal. If in the case of 1% or more inclination, the self-removal cylinder and or its rods may damage due to uneven loads would be received. Perform the work with engine speed 1000 per minute or less. If exceeded, the cylinder speed becomes faster and excessive force could be applied on the cylinder at start or stop of motion. This may damage the cylinder rod. Travel the machine toward the counterweight assembly until the distance between the counterweights and the crawler is approximately 700 mm. Bring the base machine closer to the counterweight further. Slowly travel the machine while paying attention to prevent any interference of the base machine with the counterweights. Adjust the mast angle to 45 degrees or lower. Do not return the mast assist arms to storage position until the crane mast is connected to the boom with the guy lines. Mast may fall backwards if it is raised to vertical position when assist arms are at stowed position. Connect the remote control switch box to the upper machinery side. Check if the gantry is surely supported with the gantry cylinder. Remove the gantry securing pin. Lower the gantry by operating both right and left gantry control switch together. When lowering the gantry, Take care so that the crane mast does not interfere with the mast arm. Otherwise, the crane mast or mast arm may be damaged. Install the counterweight lifting guy lines to the counterweight hanger with securing pin. Make sure that four pieces of securing pins for weight one have been removed.
raise the gantry by operating both right and left gantry control switch together. When lifting the counterweight, raise the gantry slowly. Keep the both cylinders even by operating the both at the same time. If the counterweight becomes uneven, always correct the situation by rising the lower side. If the higher side cylinder is lowered, the load will be concentrated on that cylinder and may be damaged. Extend gantry cylinders to stroke end to align the pinholes. Set the weight support pins using an extension bar and secure with spring pin. Lower the gantry slightly and put the counterweight to the swing frame. Install the securing pins and spring pin. Disconnect the counterweight lifting guy lines. Raise the gantry to the working position and install the securing pins to the gantry links. Remove the remote control switch box from the upper machinery side. If the counterweight detection harness is equipped on the machine, connect it to base machine harness. <laughs> 